Out of this door might come something, or we might send something through it. Sergio Bettolucci, Director for Research and Scientific Computing at CERN. The idea of multiple universes is more than a fantastic invention and deserves to be taken seriously. Aurelien Barrault, French particle physicist at CERN. Many black holes, portals, and dimensional drift. The Large Hadron Collider is the world's biggest machine. The $9 billion CERN Collider Complex is buried at a depth of up to 175 meters underground. The tunnel runs along a 27-kilometer ring. They conduct experiments within the tunnel, launching particles at each other at the speed of light and recording the results as they crash into each other. They have found the God Particle, they say, otherwise known as the Higgs boson. CERN also invented the World Wide Web. We are communicating right now through what is essentially an information portal created by CERN. So this is an organization that is playing with the fabric of our reality. These scientists are like kids in a candy shop having access to technology that makes the atom bomb look like a Nerf gun. Now this might be too fringe for some people, but let's explore the topic. There have been rumblings on the internet about timeline shifts, glitches, reality changes, Mandela effects, strange phenomena, and these have been increasing in popularity since 2008 the year that the Large Hadron Collider went into operation. What is Clown World really? Why do so many of us feel like we have landed in an alternate dimension where nothing seems to make sense anymore? Could it be that this is actually the case and we are now in a different or altered dimension? Let's go down the rabbit hole. Now I remember when CERN opened in 2008 and I was concerned there were rumors of many black holes black holes being created strange experiments and when I brought these concerns with my peers I was only met with blank stares or excitement black holes that's awesome a possible outcome of these particle experiments taking place within the Large Hadron Collider is the creation of a mini black hole they claim that this would only exist for a fraction of a second, and the imprint it leaves could reveal clues of other dimensions. They have yet to confirm the creation of a mini black hole. Though if it actually happened, I doubt they would release this to the public. What we know that is going on at CERN is just the declassified experiments, the tip of the iceberg. There is a type of wormhole called the Schwarzschild wormhole. Now, this is a portal that can be connected via two black holes or possibly many black holes. Now, a wormhole can be intra-universal, which would be a portal between two areas of space-time within this universe, or they could be extra-dimensional, a portal between two areas of space-time between two different dimensions. Physicists have reported that microscopic traversable wormholes may be possible and that they are limited to the transfer of information, not the transfer of individuals, of people, of a person. So essentially, these wormholes can only transfer information, and that is the key. While many point towards CERN and the Large Hadron Collider as a portal for demonic entities from hell, a sort of event horizon scenario, I see a more logical or plausible explanation as a transfer of information from one dimension to ours. And this is where we see the reality breakdown phenomena, the confusion, the hysteria, the 
quote unquote fake memories that are manifesting in this realm. A strange factoid at the facility is that there's a statue of Shiva there. Now Shiva is the god of destruction, of universal destruction in the Hindu belief system. There's also a concept in Vedic theology that expresses that there is an infinite amount of universes that we are just in one of these infinite dimensions. There is also the Norse belief that there are nine worlds and the gods can travel through the realms with a rainbow bridge. Now, if it's only information that's being transferred via these black holes. That will explain why the Mandela effect seems so mundane. Like the most common ones are movie quotes, slight changes in brands, differences in aesthetics, a change in information we are collectively processing in this dimension, though many are not affected by this phenomenon. Those who are not affected still experience that there is something off with reality, a clown world, a timeline shift, a difference of feeling. So when the most sophisticated machine in human history is experimenting with the fabric of reality, of the very constructs of space and time, it is not outside the realm of possibility that we could be changing or damaging our own reality. Now, there was an experiment branded as Alice, which to me immediately brings to mind Alice in Wonderland, the girl who went through the hole in the ground to a different dimension and was faced with a reality that seemed to be extremely bizarre and unnerving compared to her own. Have we undergone a similar journey to that of Alice? Most of us are already aware of the strange ritual that took place at CERN. Men dressed in robes, pretending to sacrifice a woman before the god of Shiva. Why was this done? It is said to be faked. It is said to have been a hoax. And I believe it was faked. It was planned. Somebody was given a camera to film this. They were got together and had a little plan. And then decided to release it to the public. But why? Why would they do this? It is to create a imprint in the minds of the masses. That anyone who is questioning some of the things that are going on at CERN is a tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorist. The Pavlonian responses that the masses have. It's a double blind, it's a smokescreen to make it seem ridiculous out of the ordinary that anything strange could be going on behind the scenes at CERN. So they have a mock ritual which in reality is of course mocking us because that is what they love to do. Mocking is a form of worship. Here we see a strange bit of energy forming over the CERN facility. I'm not sure what to make of it, but it's strange phenomenon. It's almost as if time and space is being bended above it or some form of energy ball. Here we see a strange orb floating into the middle. It's very odd. And then it just dissipates. More of these instances add up and add up and add up and it starts to point towards something that we don't understand as the public as happening at CERN. 
So I've stumbled upon this video of the Nirvana Unplugged concert, and now the candles are black. There's no carpets. There's these strange flowers everywhere, and I have to tell you that I've probably watched this concert well over 20 times. I mean, I was a huge Nirvana fan as a teenager. And this seems all very strange to me. Why is it that it's just the candles? It's just these small little instances that are changing. Well, here we have the residue, right? Now, the phenomenon with the residue, really, right? It's that it is the instance of an event that is changing. So it is the fact that the candles are changing from white to black. That's the information that's gone through these wormholes. That's the information that has changed. Though in the timeline, the other instances of that event remembrance aren't being changed. So not everywhere in the timeline are these wormholes changing the color from white to black. They remember it as being white, so they create the event how they remembered it with the rugs and the white candles, like how I remembered it. But not everything is changing when the glitch happens, and that's where we get these residues. It's a copying of the original event, and it's being unaltered while the original event is altered and remains altered in our minds because that's the information that has changed but not the remembrance of the information is being changed with these glitches and that's how we're getting this residue but it is just mind-boggling to me and now I'm sure everybody has their little pet glitch that they like to remember. For me, this is probably the biggest one. It's just the most stark and obvious one to me. Like, no, this is... This is not how it happened. Something has changed. Something has changed, even though it's slight. I mean, it's not a different person playing. It's a slight change of information which seems to be the recurring theme here. Some information is changing because only bits of information can seep through these wormholes. And the Nixon sticker, of course, is very strange. I'm sure somebody would have noticed this Nixon sticker at some point and commented about it, but never before have I thought or noticed about this Nixon sticker. It's very odd to me that this is even happening. And this channel, um, give some credit here. Amateur Music Research. So all of you subscribe and like. And the comments. People remember it uh, being white. The candles are definitely white, yeah. And, of course, there's definitely instances of false memories within these Mandela effects, which I don't like to use because it's just such a negative connotation. I'd rather just say glitch. That, um, yeah, of course it happens, but this is not, this is not happening for me because I just know. I've seen it so many times. A reality is a simulation. Well, I'll talk about that in a different video because I have some problems with that. But I will say reality is not as solid as it once was. And maybe the fluidity of it is increasing.